Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to see about labeling. So the textbook explanation is that labeling is a branch of surveying whose objective is to find the elevation of given points with respect to a given or assumed datum to establish points at a given ex uh, elevation or at different elevations with respect to a given or assumed datum. So this is the textbook uh, explanation for leveling. Uh, let me give a real life example where we will use leveling. Let's say this is our plot and we are going to construct a commercial building in this plot. So before we start the project, we will always prepare the land for project. And uh, by preparing, I mean cutting and filling. So for cutting and filling, we will go for leveling. Uh, we can either use the contour maps if the area is large or if the area is small, we will go for using leveling. So, uh, what we will do is, uh, say in this example, I am going to divide the plot into 9 squares. So what I will do is, I will find the elevation at the corners of the squares. I will find the elevation at all these points and the average of these four points, these four corners of the square will give me the average of this square. And likewise, I will repeat for the other squares and I will have nine values. I will look from where my elevation ranges. Say it ranges between 99 and 101. It ranges between 99 and 101. So I will set up my reference line as 100. So uh, by setting the reference line of 100, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the excess amount of land from 101, uh, the areas having elevation 101, and I'm going to fill them here in 99, the areas having less amount of uh, land. So by doing this, I'll be able to uh, obtain a land which is uh, even and the elevation is going to be 100 at all points. So this is what we do in cutting and filling. And in order to find the elevation, we will use our leveling instruments. So before going into the methods of leveling, let us understand the concept better. This line is the earth, the earth's surface. And what I'm going to do is I am going to set up my leveling instruments at two points here. And we know that earth is not an even surface we have undulations and where whatever uh, we have on the surface of the earth one thing is going to be common that is our gravity is always go, uh, going to act towards the center of the earth and the plumb line will always point towards the gravity so this is what happens here even though it is at two different positions on the earth the plumb lines are different because the vertical lines are different for both points and our horizontal line it will always be perpendicular to our plumb line and uh, so we have two different horizontal lines even on the surface of the earth so this is about plumb line and horizontal line we also have another special line called the level line so level line is an interesting line uh, it is a curved line always a curved line and it is uh, curved in such a way that all the points in the level line are always perpendicular to the action of gravity. I know the points cannot be perpendicular. Uh, the line is uh, uh, comprised of the points in such a way that the line is always going to be perpendicular towards the action of gravity. You know that our earth is a sphere. So and the uh, gravity always act towards the center. So in order to have a line that is going to act towards the center it has to be like this. It has to be concentric to the Earth's line of gravity. So this is about level line and the instruments that we use for leveling is a level and a leveling stuff. A level is an instrument consisting of a telescope, a level tube, a leveling head and a tripod. There are many types of levels used. The most commonly used levels are auto level, dumpy level next is a leveling stuff a leveling stuff is a rectangular rod which is graduated the leveling stuffs are usually 3 meter high we have it in different uh, heights but it is usually 3 meter high next is methods of leveling there are three methods of leveling and I'm going to give you a case here uh, say I'm standing here. 
from a distance x from this building. I need to find the height of the building. This height of the building. So uh, when I'm using this method of leveling, that is barometric leveling, from the name barometric, we can understand that it has something to do with pressure. Yes. So what we'll do is we are going to use a barometer. Barometer is used to find the pressure. So I'm going to uh, take this barometer. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to find the barometric reading. Next, I'll go stand at the top of the building and again see what my barometer shows. I'll take these two readings. I will compare them. And uh, by uh, noticing the change in alt uh, the pressure due to the altitude difference, I will arrive at my uh, height of the building. I know uh, when I am explaining this itself, we can understand that this type of method is not accurate because the pressure keeps changing throughout the day even throughout the hour and we can uh, if my uh, building is not approachable to the terrace I cannot go here and stand there are many limitations to this uh, barometric leveling and it is also not extensively widely used by the engineers next is trigonometric leveling or indirect leveling what I'll do is instead of standing here I'm, uh, with the barometer, I'm going to set up a leveling instrument here. Okay, and uh, I know this distance. Let us assume this is only X from the building. I'm going to stand here. This is my horizontal. What I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to side the edge of the building. I'm going to find this angle. Say it is alpha. Now I have. Uh, uh, I'm going to I need to find the height of the building. I know my height of the instrument. I need to find this height right now in this triangle I have my distance horizontal distance x and I also have the angle so using trigonometric relations you can arrive at the height. This is what we do in trigonometric leveling using trigonometric relations and using a level. Next is split leveling. Uh, or direct leveling we cannot use spirit leveling or direct leveling to find the height of the building in this case but what we can do is like I said in the first example we can use it to find the elevation at different points however a vertical angle is not included in direct leveling uh, we can look into uh, direct leveling in detail in the upcoming videos because it is the most widely used type of leveling by the engineers. Uh, there are many different types of leveling. We look into all of those in detail in the upcoming videos. Uh, they are as follows. Differential leveling, reciprocal leveling, longitudinal or profile leveling, cross-sectioning and precise leveling. So this is all about today's video. Please do like, share and subscribe.